So the solution of this equation is given by y equal to yc plus yv. First we will find yc. So to find yc we need an auxiliary equation for that we need f of d equal to 0. What is f of d? In our case f of d is d square plus 1. So f of d is d square plus 1 equal to 0 which is nothing but d square equal to minus 1. So here we have to take the root of negative term. So root of negative is nothing but plus minus i. So these are the complex root. So for complex root our yc is given by e raised to alpha x. In our case alpha is 0 and beta is 1. e raised to alpha 0 into z. Now our variable is z. As you can see here z square plus z cos z earlier we used to have the function something like this f of d into y equal to x but instead of this x now we have z so e raised to 0 z e raised to 0 z multiply by c1 cos of beta z beta is 1 so cos of z plus c2 sine of z so sine of z so this is our yc now we will find pi p we know the general equation of yp is 1 upon fd into z. What is fd? fd is nothing but d square plus 1. And what is z? z is nothing but z square plus cos z. So z is z square plus cos z. So I am taking this d square plus 1 inside the bracket. I will get 1 upon d square plus 1 into z square plus 1 upon d square plus 1 into cos z. So if you observe these two equations, these two equation is nothing but 1 upon f of d into x raised to m and this is of the form of 1 upon f of d cos of ax plus b. So first we will consider this, we, whenever we have x raised to m term instead of x here we have z. It's just the change of variable. We used to take this denominator in the numerator so it will become 1 plus d square the whole raised to minus 1 z square. After this we used to do a binomial expansion so here it is plus and here it is minus so it will be alternate plus minus. So first term will be 1 so second term will be this term then square of this term which is d raised to 4 and so on into z square. Now I am multiplying z square inside the bracket. So it will be multiplied by 1 so it will be z square minus d square. d square of z square is nothing but second derivative of z square. So first derivative of z square is 2z then second derivative will be 2. So the second derivative of z square is 2 plus fourth derivative of z square. So third derivative of z square is derivative of this which is 0 then fourth derivative will also be 0. So this term is nothing but z square minus 2. Now we will solve this term. This is of the type 2. In type 2 we substitute d square equal to minus of a square where a is coefficient of this z in cos z term. In our case a is 1 so we replace d square by minus 1. When we put d square equal to minus 1 this term becomes 0 and this term is creating problem. So whenever the term creates problem we have alternate formula of x raised to r upon r factorial into minus 1 the whole raised to r upon 2a into r cos ax plus b plus r pi by 2 we, we all know this formula here instead of x we will have z and r in our case is 1 and a is also 1. So the solution for this part is nothing but z raised to r r is 1 upon 1 factorial into minus 1 the whole raised to r upon 2 into a the whole raised to r r in our case is 1 into cos of ax plus b ax plus b that is z z plus r pi by 2 r is 1 so z pi by 2. So this term is nothing but z upon 2 this 2 minus 1 and cos z plus pi by 2 is nothing but minus sine of z. So this minus sine and minus sine will become plus so this term will become z sine z upon 2. So our yp is nothing but z square minus 2 plus 0 plus z by 2 sine z. So this is our yp. Then the final solution will be given by y equal to yc plus yp. So our yc is c1 cos z plus c2 sin z plus yp is z square minus 2 plus z by 2 sin z. So in this we always used to write where z is nothing but log of 1 plus x. The substitution we have done earlier we have to write this substitution when we write our answer in terms of, of z or you can substitute z equal to log of 1 plus x in this equation. So this is the solution of this problem and this is how we solve the problem on Legendre's equation. More such problems we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures.